Welcome to Potter's training video on the PFC 4064. Today I'm going to show you how to program and edit the points within the 4064. To enter the programming menu, you will need to press enter on the keypad. Navigate using the up or down arrows. Press the down arrow till you see number 6, programming. Then press number 6. Enter the default code of 1111. You will press number 1 for system setup. Then here you have the options to choose between zones, points, or assign zones. On the PFC 4064, the term zones refers to input or output mapping zones, whereas point refers to the particular initiating device circuit itself. We will press number 2 for points. Then we can choose between the built-in power supply and the built-in IDC6. We're going to choose built-in IDC6, so we'll press the down arrow, then press enter. From here we can choose to change the name of that conventional point. So press the right arrow, then press enter to change the name. Now you can give it a custom name using the up or down or right and left arrows. Once you've entered a custom name, you press enter to save it, and it will take you back to the main screen. You can also press the right arrows to change the function of that point. Press enter, then you can press the up or down arrows to change from that default function. Press enter to save it, now that function is changed to a pull station. If you press the right arrow further, You'll see supervisory, which you cannot change or edit. Press the right arrow once more. You will see alarm verification. Alarm verification only allows you to activate this for smoke detectors. And then end of line resistor value, which cannot be changed or edited on the PFC 4064. Once you have made your changes, you will just need to press the escape key and keep pressing escape until it says press 1 to accept these changes. So you press 1 and then press enter to confirm these changes. The panel will then restart and all of your new changes will be stored into the system. For more information in regards to data sheets, manuals, or additional training videos, please visit our website at www.pottersignal.com.